and it's massive. Former Chief White House Strategist Steve Bannon is now the current Executive Chairman of Breitbart News and says that he is going to jump right back to work at Breitbart. Remember what Bannon said months ago at PAC? The fight is not over. He says that he is going to waste no time in expanding the populist news network. Bannon is plotting to build a channel that can rival Fox News. According to Axios, Roger Riles sent a letter to Bannon that said that he wanted to get a channel together. According to Jonathan Swan at Axios, Bannon has told friends that he sees a massive opening to fight off Fox News. He says that he is going to go after the network. Bannon is wondering if it will be a standalone TV network or a streaming network. Owls may have told Bannon about the idea, which Bannon supposedly loved. He thinks that Fox is going in the squishy, globalist direction. Bob Mercer is ready to invest big in what's coming up next and it seems like it might happen. Bannon said to Bloomberg Businessweek's Josh Green that he's going to war for Trump against his opponents. Share this if you can't wait for Bannon to fight back. It's time to save Trump from the media. Let's keep fighting, patriots. Get this out there if you are ready to keep the fight going. He's back what Trump just did to Boston protesters left all of them speechless. Yet yeah, all, this stuff could not be made up if we tried. President Trump just managed to leave the whole country speechless. In Boston today, a group of libertarians decided to hold a free speech rally. Many in the area, 14,000 total, fearing another bloody fight between neo-Nazis and Antifas went out and took to the street in a peaceful protest. Not a single one of them was prepared for what Trump did to them afterwards. He thanked the 14,000 protesters for coming out and peacefully protesting bigotry and hate. He said that truly peaceful protests are one of the core rights of this great country and it was good seeing so many Americans uniting to oppose the violence. Amen, Mr. President. We are a country founded on many amazing basic rights and protesting is one of the absolute greatest. Of course. There were a few problems. 20 arrests after some BLMs attacked a cop car, but relative to the size that is not nearly as bad as it could have been. Honestly, though, one out of every 700 protesters is a huge improvement over what we have been seeing. I will stand with the president 100% on this and praise the use of peaceful protest over violent riots. Give Trump a name in and help share his American message to everyone. The sick thing Antifa does to old lady in this video is going viral. Watch before deleted. A defiant victim speaks out, a gray-haired woman holding an American flag was attacked in Boston on Saturday as she stood beside the out-left counter-protesters at the rally held on the Boston Common. Here is the shocking video below. Video posted by Fox News Shaw Antifa grabbing the flag from the woman and attacking her for 10 yards. The Antifa terrorist then let go and the woman fell to the ground. Her male companion and another man caught up to her and pulled her back. The woman screeches. OMG! What a powerful video! Kudos to the Fox cameraman that caught it. He is a hero and is in the only one covering the truth. An older lady in her 60s holding up American flag and saying God bless Donald Trump was pushed to the ground by a thug. I tried to help her up and I glared at the guy and he said I didn't do nothing and smirked. Pack of ugly skanky mean girls were taunting her saying poor baby and laughing. Here is her amazing speech. The video shows the woman that was shown above. Her voice is a fiery reminder that this is America that we live in. It's sad that all these young people have been taught the ideals of socialism and communism. They are anti-American ideas that's why we need to expose these anarchist assholes. Share this article all over the world and let's expose them. Thanks for reading. Trump strikes back last night Trump just kept his biggest promise about China. Despite what the media tries to spin it as, President Donald Trump absolutely is a promise keeper. People may not understand his methods, but he delivers results and China just learned that the hard way. Just last week Trump asked United States Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer to look into China and see if we need an investigation into their predatory trade practices. Well, 
Guess what? President Trump is launching a full-scale investigation into Chinese trade and patent practices. Lighthizer said in a statement, after consulting with stakeholders and other government agencies, I have determined that these critical issues merit a thorough investigation. This means Trump just took another key action that all presidents before him had been too lazy, ignorant, or corrupt to do. He is also sending a very clear message to China after they refuse to back Trump on North Korea. The investigation will focus on Chinese theft of U.S. patents, music, tech, films, etc. that China often achieves through bad trade practices thanks to the World Trade Organization. At this point, the president has made it abundantly clear that he does believe in world trade, but only if it's done right and the U.S. can come out ahead from it. Do you like the way Trump is handling foreign affairs? If so, share this everywhere and let Trump see the people actually do stand by their president. IT happened Julian Assange just gave top Republican info to end Russia investigation forever. The media has been hounding Trump 24 hours a day ever since he condemned the violence of both the alt-left and alt-right on Tuesday. It's no wonder the mess the secret meeting Wikileaks founder Julian Assange just had with Republican Congressman Dana Rahabacher. According to the congressman from California, Assange's info is bigger than anyone ever could have expected. He wants to trade immunity in return for leaked documents that prove he is not a Russian spy. The left has been trying day and night to prove that President Trump was tied to the email leak despite still having to evidence to back their claims. Assange alleges he wants to change all that in a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Donald Trump. However, immunity and the meeting with the U.S. president were not Assange's only requests. He also asked Congressman Rahab Acher to help secure Wikileaks a seat at the White House press briefings. At the same time, this proof is supposed to be earth-shattering. Rahab Acher said in an interview with Daily Caller right before the historic meeting, he has information that will be of dramatic importance to the United States and the people of our country as well as to our government. Thus if he comes up with that, you know he's going to expect something in return. He can't even leave the embassy to get out to Washington to talk to anybody if he doesn't have a pardon. Now we just have to sit back and see what it is. Luckily, Liberty Writers will let you know the second we do. Still. We gotta share this out to everyone since this kind of info should not be swept under the MSM rug. Deems doomed what just came out about Tom Perez will bring down the Democrats. It's not looking good for the Democrats. They recently expanded their massive fundraising and are making the Democrats look like the losers they have become. The Democrats have brought in the least amount of fundraising in a decade. Tom Perez is a failure. The DNC has now raised $3.8 million in July. The RNC raised $10.2 million in July. The GOP has no debt, the DNC has $3.4 million. The GOP has vastly expanded their fundraising since the beginning of 2017. According to The Hill, the RNC raised $86.5 million through the first seven months of the year while the DNC raised about $42 million. The GOP also has a huge advantage in cash on hand, $47.1 million to $6.9 million. Tom Perez is leading the Democratic Party to ruin. It's time to keep putting the nail in their coffin. They can get protesters out to protest and pretend that it has to do with Donald Trump, but the Democrats are running out of money. Here is what Tom Perez thinks about Obama coming back to help America. Keep the pressure up, patriots. Share this all over America. It's time to expose how bad the Democrats are exposed. Keep on, fighting, Republicans. We are taking back the country. Get this information out there. Boston police chief just said something about today's protests that Trump needs to ASAP. Boston Police Department Commissioner William Evans just came out and told reporters on Saturday that leftist protesters had hurled bottles full of urine at the police. Let me repeat that. This was tweeted out by the Boston police earlier. 
Get ready to see the astounding video below. The commissioner then attacked the free speech protest organizers. There were 27 leftists arrested at the event. There were 27 leftist agitators arrested at the event. Here is what our amazing president tweeted today about the event. He thanked the police for the amazing job they did. The police did a great job keeping the thousands of protesters at bay. There were some minor scuffles attacking conservatives. This needs to get out. The left has been violent and thank God the free speech participants today were vigilant and kept from becoming violent. Conservatives got honeypotted in Charlottesville. In Boston, there were approximately 30 free speech protesters and literally thousands of Antifa and liberal protesters. Look how all the liberals attacked our president, share this to expose the violence and agitation from the liberal protesters. The media is not showing this. It's up to us to get this out there and make it so they can't ignore it anymore. Keep fighting the good fight, patriots. We will drain the swamp and break the media monopoly.